Hey everybody, how's it going? I am here again with another live thrift haul. Some is from thrift stores, some is from garage sales. And I know it's super impromptu, but I thought I would just go ahead and do this. I had a moment, my husband took the kids to Chuck E. Cheese. So I said, let's do it. <laughs> let's get it out there. Um, so far, what I've picked up is not over the top wow, um, but there's a few cool things and some things that, you know, I'm always willing to try. So again, I have people tell me that, you know, oh, you have such a great eye, but I think part of it is that I am not afraid to pick up other things. And so I've got quite a few things here that are, that fall into that category of they could do well or they could be duds. <laughs> so. Let me say hey to some people. Hello in the chat. Joshua and Scotty Bays and Lynn and Cherie. Well, I always say, I think I say your name wrong, right? We've done this before. Oh gosh. Sherry? I think that's right. And watch out for AJ and Darlene. Hello. Thanks for coming to this impromptu thrift haul and garage sale haul. So some of this stuff, um, is from a haul that I did. I went to a YouTube creator conference with Tanya, and then after that we went to Goodwill. We ran into Jimmy John at Goodwill, and then the rest is from today at a garage sale this morning, and then I took my kids to the aquarium in Galveston, and there's a Goodwill down there, and so I was like, we gotta go to Goodwill, kids. So we went to Goodwill down there. Anyway, let's get right into it. I will show you the things first that Cher, Cher, Cherry, right? Cherry. Okay, I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, uh, yeah, okay, okay, off topic. Okay, here we go. So I'll show you the things that I did not look up yet, and then I have a, a, some screen sharing that I'll do in a moment. So some of the things that I picked up, um, some mugs. So the first mug that I picked up here, this one, it's kind of got that Odagiri look, but the owl is what sold it for me. <laughs> Thank you for not being offended that I'm having trouble with pronouncing your name right now. Um, but it is, oh, maybe it is an Odagiri. Look, the sticker was right on top of it, 99 cents. Hi, Tracy. Let's see. Let's see. It's the big reveal. It's the big reveal. Oh, it is an Odagiri. Yay. <laughs> I know when I saw it, I was like, it's got that Odagiri look, but I don't think it is. Because sometimes the Odagiri mugs are kind of textured as well. Um, but And then we were just talking about this in our group, the International League of Thrifters. Um, somebody had asked, like, what are the three things you pick up? And somebody said, like, they don't pick up mugs anymore. Or somebody, I can't remember. Anyway, um, but, and they even said, oh, I can't find Starbucks mugs. But I said, honestly, for me, Starbucks mugs are super slow sellers. Maybe I don't pick up the right ones. I said, but Odagiri mugs... Those ones sell for me like pretty quickly, quicker than other mugs. Mugs are pretty slow, but you know, especially with the content matter with an owl on it, I think I'll do okay. Hello, Tracy and JD. Hello. And then I picked up another mug. This one was from today. It's a Sandra Boyton. Nothing is ever simple, like so. And even my little one, when he saw that, he said, Oh, the cow, this is the cow that didn't jump over the moon. Well, he tried, or she. So another, I got a few more mugs. This one, I got it because of the subject matter. So it's the Queen Mary, and it's got the Spruce Goose. Or is this Queen Mary the Spruce Goose? Is that the same thing? I don't know. Anyway, 49 cents. I figured it looks like, an, it looks like a big old plane. My husband will know. <laughs> Here we go. So there. Queen Mary, Spruce Goose, content matter is great, and it's like, Three dimin like it's like etched or whatever. So that was 49 cents. I love the content matter. And then two more mugs. I got this one. It's, it says old coot on it. <laughs> and then the back has a definition of what an old coot is. Let's read it. An old coot is an individual who has been designed, oh wait, who has been designated by friends for their new unique attributes of being a harmless, simple person. That's not what I think of when I think of an old coot. But okay, we got the old coot mug anyway. And last mug. This one, again, I don't know. This, okay, the, this side has got um, Tom, Tom, the, the Piper son on that side, like nursery rhymes. And this side has got 
Humpty Dumpty. So that was 99 cents. I don't know the brand or anything on it. Somebody will probably know. But I know, you know, Nursery Rhymes and Humpty Dumpty will probably have a, um, you know, following people. Collect stuff. Humpty Dumpty, right? And there's that new Alice movie coming out. So maybe that'll help boost it. Humpty Dumpty is from Lewis Carroll. And then, well, I'll show you this one. I did look this up, even though it's not going for what I think it should. So this is a hand-blown glass vase. And you can see it's got the little butt on the bottom, whatever that thing is called. $4 is what I paid for it. And I thought it would do better. I may still list it for pretty high because it's really nice, you know. It's all swirly and, like, you can feel the texture in it. Um, and you can see all the little air bubbles in it. So it's really cool, kind of orangey and pink. I don't know. So this is one of those things that I was like, well, I'm going to take a chance on it. I think it'll do, I think it'll do well. Um, but it may not. <laughs> okay. Oh, oh, amber glass people, too. You're right, Lynn. I didn't think about that. People that collect the, the amber and the amber glass. Isn't it, isn't it pretty? I thought it was pretty. Okay, okay. And then next, let's see, I looked that up, I looked that up. This is one that I did not look up, but I've sold one of these before, and I can't remember how much it sold for. Not a ton. It's a hip huggers, like those little magnetic checkers games. So that was 99 cents. Look at her. She's sticking it in her back pocket. You know, he's like, oh, yeah, I'm going to go fish that thing out of your back pocket, girl. Anyway, um, <laughs> so I, I've sold this one of these before. Um, and I want to say it was maybe in the between ten and fifteen dollar range. So that is that. I need a new a new spot to put stuff. What else have I not looked up? So over here, I, I did buy some Beanie Babies. You guys got to stop me, but because I don't have the booth anymore, and so I could pick up Beanie Babies for like fifty cents or whatever, a quarter, fifty cents, a dollar, and put them in my booth, and they would sell for five plus dollars. And I scanned them. You know, and then some of them I will send into Amazon because they're they're going for good money. And I've sold a goat twice, not this goat, but a diff, just like a billy goat, like a normal looking billy goat, for like fifteen bucks that I picked up for fifty cents on Amazon. So anyway, I, this lady had a big tub of them at this garage sale this morning, and I I didn't feel like like scanning all of them, so I just kind of grabbed some that looked like they were good subject matter. <sighs> I chose wrong. <laughs> <laughs> but I have a bunch that I brought back home from the antique booth that either I will lot up and sell on eBay, just like a big Beanie Baby crazy lot, or on the local garage sale site. So I got this little fella. Wasn't he colorful? He's so colorful. This one is going to go to Amazon. This one, and she charged me a dollar, which is also a little more than I would want to spend on some Beanie Babies. But I got this one, and this one is going for, I think, like $12 or $13 on Amazon, so that will go into Amazon. Fly away, little dragon. Okay. <laughs> and then some others. Like, I just kind of grabbed ones that I thought had good subject matter, like the scorpion. He wasn't going so hot either. I got the cougar that I might, I might give to Tanya just for fun. And a, a wiener dog. I thought the wiener dog would do well, but again, no. Okay. And then I got some little doodads for the kids. Hang on. I'm reaching. I'm reaching. So, yeah, I got some of these little... Grow a worm, grow a spider, and these ones are these are for my kids for the summer though. Those are fun. Okay, okay. What's next? Oh yeah, another one. Hello, poplar picker. How are you? This is another one that I picked up that I've never sold anything like before, and I have no idea about them. And I just thought I'm going to take a chance on it. It was a dollar, um, but it's one of those like puzzle boxes, and the thing came apart before, and I couldn't get it back together. I don't know if I can take it apart now. Anyway, it's got steps to take this thing apart. And then there's like little hidey holes in there. So I just thought, well, okay, I'll give it a try. It's wood. People like wood. It's got parrots or macaws. People like parrots and macaws. And it's a puzzle box. And I'm sure there are people that like puzzle boxes. So this is one of those. I'll give it a shot. That's that. Let me say hey. Hey, La Laura Bell's Fine Vintage. How are you? Good to see you. All right, thanks 27 viewers for coming in on this impromptu thrift and garage sale haul. Okay, I got one other thing. This was, I went back and forth on. So this one, um, when, I when we ran into Jimmy John at the uh, Goodwill, um, he was scanning, of course, 
<laughs> and then this was a uh, three dollars, but he was putting it back because it wasn't going for so. I think it was restricted on Amazon for some reason. And then he wasn't going. Was Jay on? Oh my gosh, he's gonna kill me. <laughs> Cheryl, don't tell me Jay was on. <laughs> He is going to, oh my gosh, I'm going to hear about it later if he is. Oh gosh, sorry. <laughs> so it was three bucks, but again, restricted on Amazon. Then there were a couple of um, sellers on eBay, but they weren't going for super, like a whole bunch. So it may end up being like, oh, phew. <laughs> Is that bad? I did. I went, uh, Cheryl, I went on. And I go and make sure nobody else is live or like I don't see anybody scheduled to go live because I don't want to do that to somebody, you know, especially one of my friends because I fully expect to hear about it. <laughs> hey, creative heart. <laughs> um, so, yeah, so there were some on eBay that were, you know, again, and this is new and sealed, but I can't remember exactly. So, but it might end up staying here because we, like I said, play a lot of board games. Okie dokie. So I'm going to start switching kind of back and forth between, hi Debbie, how are you? Um, back and forth between the screen sharing. Oh, you guys were watching Jay's Wednesday show. Was that the one with his mom? I haven't watched it yet. I got to go watch it. Um, pardon me. Okay, so I'm going to screen share and then, yeah, I hope you don't get seasick. Here we go. Ready? Screen sharing and... Go. Okay. So this was my mini research on the hand-blown glass vase. I couldn't find one just like it. But then I'm seeing, gosh, they're really not going for, for that much, which is a bit surprising. But I think it's super, super pretty. And yeah, I'm going to probably still try to price it high. Okie dokie. I'm going to go backwards. So then I also picked up another Scrabble game. And, uh, and, um, 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 stop. Uh oh, stop. Okay. So I picked up another Scrabble board game, and this one I may end up, um, parting out. Like I save up the board games and then might just sell like the tiles all together and the boards. We'll see. We'll see. Um, so that was $3. And, but I think a lot of people have kind of jumped onto that because the prices are not that great on um, the tiles. Hello, Cindy, how are you? So, let me see, I'll show you that again, but let me pull up this, okay, okay. Here's another thing that I got. This Mr. Incredible, he's in the package. Now the packaging is messed up and all of this, so I won't send him to eBay, I mean Amazon, but he talks, sort of. It sounds like this. Let's see if you can hear him. I don't know. He may need a new battery. He doesn't sound right. So he was $9.99, which is a lot for me to pay. And I thought, you know, I looked it up because if I'm going to spend that much money, I, I generally will look it up. And I looked the wrong one. <laughs> Let me show you what I looked at. Screen sharing time. So I, lo I looked at, there was one that was like $89 or something. Where did they go? Of course, he's not going to be right where I need him. So yeah, I saw this. I was like, oh yeah, $89. Bucks. Um, but it's not the same one. Like the packaging is totally different. And the one that I have, I have sold up somewhere. Here's the one I have, $12. <laughs> oh boy. You know what? Everybody makes mistakes, right? But there were some other, I mean, look though, some of them are still selling out of the package for 20. Um, oh, where did it go? Goodness gracious. So there was one somebody was trying to sell for $69. So it might still do okay. It might not. But I, I thought they were supposed to put out another movie, like another Incredibles movie. That would be awesome because that was a really good one. So let's move on. Let me close out some of these Scrabble tiles, Mr. Incredible. Who's next? Aha, okay, so then this I picked up as well at the garage sale today for a dollar. This is that Bath and Body Works, what flavor is it? Mary Marshmallow Kiss. And these ones I'll pick up, you know, if they're pretty full generally, unless it's a nice perfume that I know will probably sell well. Um, there was a Nicki Minaj one that I almost bought, but then I thought, 
Yeah, maybe not. And I didn't look it up because watch, I look it up and it's like worth five hundred dollars, and I didn't get it, so I didn't look it up. <laughs> but this one, um, there are solds that I'm looking at for like around twenty bucks for just this spray. So let me show you that. Do 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 do. Share. So these are solds of the Mary Marshmallow Kiss. So there's twenty bucks there. Some of these are shower gels. Where was another one? There we go. Twenty dollars there. So hopefully I'll get $20 for it. That would be really cool. This one's got 23 bucks on it, and that was in June. Okay, awesome. So that is that. What do I have next for you? Because I have a whole bunch of stuff that I looked up. I did some research on. Okay, then I picked up this chick, this lady, I should say. And she is House of Hatton. Here she is, House of Hatton. And she was 99 cents. And when I, when I picked her up, Jimmy John was like, what are you doing buying this? He wasn't mean about it. He was like, what? I would not pick that up. It says made in the Philippines is what he said. Handcrafted in the Philippines. I said, well, it's House of Hatton. And so these can be hit or miss. Um, but I didn't see her. I haven't seen her figure on eBay in the, in the solds or in the still for sales. But I'm thinking at least 20 bucks on her. Look how cute she is. I'm a cute little lady. Okay, I'll show you. I'll show you now. So here is House of Hatton, obviously. Look at this one over here. Look at this one. 119 bucks. Wow. Some of them, here's one, um, and these are sold. So she had eight bids on her, and she's from the 12 Days of Christmas. I don't know that mine is. Um, but she was $20.15. Some of them, look at this dude. Look, like Uncle Sam looking Santa Claus guy. 68 bucks. Here's another one. So, I mean, it's worth looking at if you see them. They kind of look like paper mache-ish, sort of, you know, and they sort of have that feel, that folksy-ness. Look at these little doll baby dresses. Okay, so these are more just little dresses, but anyway, it's worth, uh, you know, if you see them, it's worth a look at to see if they're worth, worth anything. Isn't she cute? Look at her little pink nose. Okay, let me check the chat before I move on. What am I going to call her? Oh, what do you think? She kind of looks like like a rose or let me see or an esmeralda or something like that i don't know what do you think she looks so sweet though hey turtle trader how's it going all right let's see i think my next thing is the main last thing okay 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 main last thing that i picked up is this bag of pins now the reason i bought them is because of this one i'll show it to you I saw this pin, and if you are familiar, there are these vinyl figures made by a company called Kid Robot. Um, and so I saw this, and I thought it was a Kid Robot pin. And I was like, oh, yeah, Kid Robot. Um, so I picked it up, and it turns out they're not. They're all Disney pins, even this one that looks like a Kid Robot pin. So um, she charged me five bucks for the whole bag. There's nine of them in there. And then I thought, oh man, I think I just gotta, because it wasn't a, it wasn't Kid Robot after all. But then I started looking them up, and none of the ones I have are worth a ton of money, but there are some that are. So now I'm thinking, gosh, I'm gonna start looking when I, you know, people have all like the jewelry, like a tub of jewelry out, and you see just like a random, right? It is a Mickey. It's a Mickey. It is a Mickey. I guess you have to see what Kid Robot looks like. Cause he, he's got that look, like kind of look to him. Um, or what was I saying? Oh yeah. So I'm going to look now when I see those tubs of just like random pins and stuff that you just don't even look at half the time, because there are some of these Disney collector pins that are really worth some money. Yes. It's a skull. It is a skull. <laughs> this, and that's what it's called. It's from series one from vinyl mation, Disney pin series one skull. Right? <laughs> Great, Gertie, yeah. Okay, Disney Vinylmation, yes, yes. Okay, so I, I did some research, which is totally new to me, and I'll show you what all I found. Here comes the screen share. Here it comes. Okay, I'm gonna start at the beginning. So, this is just like part of my research. I don't have any of these pins. <laughs> but I was like looking at them thinking, if I saw 
this little Dalmatian pin sitting in a basket, you know, for a quarter at my local charity shop, would I pick it up? I don't know. Now I'm thinking, yes, $40 is what it's, you know, they're selling it for. You know, some of these, I would not even, look at this. It looks like a trash can. Hollywood Studios trash can pin, $75. So I think it's something that I am not going to overlook anymore. And like I said, some of them are not worth a ton. Okay, so here's my guy. Um, and this is a lot of them. It's, you know, a mystery five pack. But, and again, I'll probably end up lotting most of them up because they're not worth a ton. Somebody's selling them for five bucks. And then here, you know, somebody selling, this is a colored one, so that's why it's different. But here, eight bucks. And these are not sold, but this is just like randomness. So I have this one, and it's a stitch, you know, from Lilo and Stitch. Uh, let me see. And then this one, this is a Sally pin, and this person did not put, she's from Nightmare Before Christmas. And this is like her dress that's all stitched up. It took me a minute to figure it out. There's another stitch one that I have. I'm just going to show you through here which ones I've got. And then this one, Mickey with a little pink square behind him. So I'll probably, like I said, I'll probably end up lotting them all up together. There's another one of the Sally ones. And then here, yeah, somebody, oh, these are, these are sold. So, eh. But I think I'll get my five bucks back on them. This one is cute. It's mini, but she's like from Disney Paris. And she's, look at her. She's all leggy. <laughs> Woohoo, hubba hubba. Um, so, yeah, that one went for eight bucks. And then this one, I couldn't figure out who this little fellow was, so I had to do a reverse Google image search. Pardon me. So I had to, because I didn't know, I just thought he was like Steamboat Willie or something, but he's not. He's, he turns out to be Oswald, Lucky Rabbit. So this was him, and that's the pin I have. But what did I see that he went for? Not a lot. <laughs> so, but, okay. Somebody, oh, Mes, Meskinda. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm saying your name wrong. Um, said to check if they are limited edition. So, that is something I will do. Let me close out. I'm almost done with those ones. Uh-oh, I just clicked out of one. Hang on, let me pull it back up. History, open that up. So, yeah, I had to do a Google reverse search for this one as well, like a polka dot one. And this was the one that was going for the most that I found the highest price on, $9.95. But, again, hidden Disney. Then here it was $2.99. So it's kind of all over the place. And then this Maleficent one, it's like got her apple and the, her witchy ears or whatever they are. But, again, prices are kind of eh, all over. So I'm going to stop presenting that. So, yeah, I just um, – that's a new one for me. I didn't even think – to know that some there are some that are worth quite a bit of money. But if I see them for a quarter or a dime, I'll pick them up and throw them in a bag and then lot them up someday. Or they'll sit in my room. Okay, is that everything? I'm going to probably go out again in the morning because I only got to hit maybe one or two garage sales. But I did get this today, so I'm going to be doing another unboxing if I can lift it. I need to weigh this bad boy. So I got this today at the, at the Goodwill. I asked the lady, you know, do you have any jewelry jars? She said, oh, we quit, we quit doing jars. Now we do jewelry bags. So this is at least five pounds. It's quite heavy. Um, so there may not be anything in there, but there might be. And it's just fun to peek through and see, see what's in there. Yeah? Okay. So, shall we adult? <laughs> Hello, Angie. You're just in time to learn how to be an adult. Okay, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to flip until the, I see stop in the chat since we're doing this live. Okay, I'm flipping. When you say stop is when I'll stop. I don't see anybody say stop yet. I'm still flipping. Last time we learned not to put tacos in our purse. But guess what I found in my purse the very next day? <laughs> peanut butter. A packet of peanut butter. Do you think that a packet of peanut butter is the same as, a oh, there it is, stop. Uh, do you think a packet of peanut butter falls into the same line as don't put a taco in your purse? Probably. Ooh, this is a good one. I got my, my pencil. Step 96. Do not be intimidated by glamorous people. Every now and again, you will find yourself somewhere that is way above your normal schmanciness level. Maybe you got an unexpected free ticket to a ball. 
happens all the time, right? Or maybe a friend of a friend is dating a quasi celebrity. Who would who would be a quasi celebrity in your eyes? Hmm. <laughs> Get excited because you're going to have a blast, and you're not going to feel intimidated by your fellow guest. Gla okay, glamorous people in real life are not all that glamorous, generally speaking. And it likely makes them uncomfortable being stared at or treated as such. So if I see you, Gilbert Godfrey, I'll make sure not to stare too hard. By the same token, don't underestimate yourself or assume that you shouldn't be there, even if it's not your normal crowd. As Bonnie put it, you'll, you all arrived on the same guest list. That's right. So if I see that my friend has started dating Gilbert Godfrey and we end up at the ball together, I won't stare and I'll remember that we all... <laughs> That we were all on the same guest list. <laughs> like quasi, why is he the only quasi celebrity I could come up with? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> okay, so that's our adulting lesson for today. That was a good one. Okay. <laughs> Hello, Amanda. Yes, it's the very end. <laughs> Thanks so much for watching, everybody. I hope that you have a great evening and that you go out and find lots of treasures. Uh, okay, I'll talk to you later. Thanks for coming in live and, and watching. See you later. Bye.